So what is the Cyber Grand Challenge? It is the world's first all-machine hacking tournament, developed under the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA. The winning team will take home the top prize of $2 million. The second place team will receive $1 million, while the third place team will get $750,000. But we know what they're all really playing for, and that's bragging rights. It has to fully automate it itself, fix it all itself. It's part of our research. This is really exciting. Let's try this crazy idea. I think everybody thinks that the competition will be fun. It's taken all of my academic uh, studies, everything that I've learned to, to really prepare for CGC. We're really excited to play and see how it goes tomorrow. I'm in Las Vegas, where many of the world's sharpest minds in computer security have gathered for DEF CON, the annual hackers conference. But this year is different because of a competition where machines, rather than humans, will compete against each other. The challenge? To discover, prove, and fix software flaws, all without any human intervention. Each team of hackers has programmed an intelligent system to attack the other systems while defending their own. It's sort of like sending a Snorlax off into a Pokemon Go gym, because once you set them loose, you can't intervene in any way. The field of competitors has been narrowed from over 100, and now we're down to the last seven. Let's meet them as they prepare for battle. Preparation has been absolutely humbling. I mean, you just... Uh it's a lot of, you really reach the limits, uh, how much, how little sleep you can have. So it is just the two of us. We both know exactly what's going on in the code. You know, so that, that makes it easier. But the 80 hour weeks these last couple of weeks was the harder part of having a two person team. <laughs> By forcing all the teams to write code that hacks into code, you really understand what's the difference between good humans and good algorithms. We have a lot of experience in both offense and defense. And in this contest, there's a third component, which is orchestrating them to work together in a really reactive environment. And that took quite a bit of work. What we brought to the table was a lot of experience in automatic binary analysis and the program transformation. And transforming binaries without breaking them while removing vulnerabilities. I think having these systems automated is a good first step. And so then the future is how we can have machines to learn to be even more automated on its own. We've been uh, building up expertise in dynamic and static analysis for some time. Uh, we've never had to automate it before, and that's what this competition brings to life. 3 p.m. today, we cut the cord to these automated systems built by our seven finalists, and they are now on their own without their authors for the first time. The show had started at 5 p.m., but DARPA's machines had been throwing out a new challenge every five minutes since that morning. It came in the form of an unknown piece of server software that each bot had to automatically evaluate for flaws. Some were based on historical vulnerabilities, such as Heartbleed and the Morris Worm. You know, I, I thought that, that uh, I was calm until, we, you know, our baby Crispy took off and started working. A bot received points for defending its server with machine-written patches to fix those challenges and for demonstrating proofs of vulnerability, or POVs, on the servers of the other teams. But even more important, the bot had to keep all services on the server running as availability was scored as a multiplier. For All Secure's Mayhem took the lead early in the competition's 96 rounds, with Deep Red's Rubius attacking aggressively. So in this last couple of rounds, we've actually managed to see Rubius throw against absolutely everyone and score in, a, in a, one of the challenge sets on every team. Some bots found vulnerabilities that DARPA's challenge creators didn't even plan. Xandra had discovered this new POV, exercised it against something that we hadn't actually even intended, and then Jima observed this occurring and successfully defended against it. So these are all results that like, we hadn't possibly had any ability to predict whatsoever. Wow. But the biggest surprise happened when Shellfish's Mechanical Fish, which started out in last place, solved a years-old puzzle based on the historical vulnerability Crack Adder. To me, as a vulnerability researcher, anyone being able to find the path to that is a huge Then, tragedy. 
mayhem actually went down, right? Yeah, so it looks like in this instance we've seen uh, Mayhem's service, Mayhem's bot has become unavailable right here in round 52, so this might be the beginning of a very serious problem for them. Our system had a technical difficulty and stopped summoning patches and POVs. So we kind of hope that we build a big enough lead that we can just hide it out until the end of the game. Mayhem's bot stayed down for almost 40 rounds while the others battled, playing on the strength of its old software. So the service itself is still online, but the bot is no longer requesting updates to it and is no longer trying to carry out POVs uh, on its own. Uh. But in the end, only three would be awarded the cash prizes. The winners are important, and our champions are important, but so is the, the daring it takes to innovate, and, and that uh, is what Grand Challenges are all about. And it's my great pleasure to introduce finalist, Shellfish, built of a can of It was incredible. Um, I don't know if you saw us start out in seven and climb up slowly. Yes, I did. Oh, that was incredible. But being part of that was my dream. It was incredible. Announcing the second place winner of the Cyber Grand Challenge, TechX, who built the bot, Sandra. We're elated. I mean, you know, kind of beyond our wildest dreams. Our, our system worked. It worked just the way we thought it would. I think everybody was really happy. And now the winner of the DARPA Cyber Grand Challenge for All Secure and their bot Mayhem. DARPA's mission is create technology and change what is possible. The, the challenge now is how do we take these kinds of, of techniques and really start scaling them up. I mean, just the ride to see them to go from first place to not having a chance to winning, I mean, <laughs> it was just, it was amazing.